Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt with the Toasty Bros, and today we're taking a look at one of our favorite lineups of laptops. This is an HP Pavilion Acid Green, and this is brought to you by Micro Center and AMD. Micro Center and AMD were nice enough to sponsor this showcase of this HP Pavilion, which is a part of Micro Center's Platinum Collection. You can buy that from Micro Center, so go to your local Micro Center, buy that. They have a lot of awesome stuff in person, and uh, you can get some graphics cards even too. And one thing I need to mention is Micro Center is running an awesome promotion right now for new customers. If you go into their store, you can get a free 128 gig flash drive and 128 gig micro SD card. No purchase necessary. Check the link in the description down below to learn more about that. Especially thanks again to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video. But today we're gonna be focusing on the Ryzen 5 5600H inside this bad boy and see how well it can game and do some other stuff. So let's just not waste any more time and open it right up. The main thing that we're really focusing on here today is the 5600H. I mean, we got a six core 12 thread processor that's real, practically a desktop processor. It's actually really good. Um, and the amazing part about it is that it's not just great for gaming, it's good for content creation too. You know, we could use these bad boys on the go. Say we're in Vegas or something like that, kicking it back, we wanna do some video editing. This can definitely do that. You know what else is awesome? This laptop comes at a price point of $650 at your local Micro Center. That's pretty cheap considering this actually has a dedicated graphics card too. They didn't just stop at the 5600H like they could have. I mean, honestly, pretty capable APU. Would have been fine just in live top standards, but they kind of went all out. And instead of just giving us like a U or H processor with integrated graphics, they gave us a 1650. So this should be a 15.6 inch model. I already see that nice pavilion font there. And it just comes with the charging brick, which is pretty basic. It's probably a, I'm gonna guess like a 60, oh, it's a 150 watt, I was gonna say 65. So a little bit beefier power brick, but it's still pretty small, which is nice. We got some instructions and whatnot. We're not gonna need those. I mean, it's a laptop. You, you plug it in, you turn it on. And if you're like me, you don't plug it in all the way and you think it's dead and you order another one. Yep. We've done that a couple times. So HP Pavilion, and this is like their typical color scheme. They have like this really nice black or kind of like dark gray background with this super nice HP acid green as we call it. Um, we've really grown to love this whole entire lineup. I mean, they just look amazing. Look at the back of it. It definitely has like a slight business look to it, but still really maintains a gaming look as well. So to go over the ports, the right hand side of the laptop, very barren. We just have the actual DC in for power and a charge of battery. We just have a USB three that's also powered USB three. On the back, just some ventilation. And then on the other side, we have a USB-C. We have out over here a full-size SD card reader. That's kind of a plus. We have a combo headphone jack. We have an ethernet jack. And then we have one more USB-3 and an HDMI out in case you want to hook it up to a monitor and do a full laptop gaming setup. We do those every so often. Opening this thing up, man. The, okay, the gamer really starts to take place once you open it up. It, it went from business casual to gamer serious. Gamer serious. <laughs> gamer serious. That, is that a new like uh, rating system? That's, that's a new lineup, uh, yeah. gaming serious. Yeah, but- Calister, make some branding for that real quick. <laughs> so we have this nice, um, it's a backlit keyboard. You can already tell because we got the little F5 to turn on the keyboard. It's gonna be like a nice um, acid green look. Well, here's our beautiful Ryzen 5 sticker. You gotta flex that on people. And we got Ooh. the GTX G4 sticker, probably because you can get this with different graphics card fig configurations. Of course, we do have solid state. We do have some good RAM, but let's go ahead and make sure that it turns on and we can go over the specs. All right, looks like we got power. Our Keyboard's looking really nice. I don't know if the camera does that justice, but yeah, I've always just loved like, HP's always done a really good job with like their either straight up Omen red keyboards or their HP Pavilion Acid Green. I'm not gonna lie, I actually like the green better. It kind of kind of just gives me like more gamer vibes. Um, pretty nice looking trackpad and everything too. We do have this nice 15.6 inch display, which I'm gonna say is probably IPS, but it's not a high refresher, right? I think it's just 1080p. It is a 15.6 inch full HD IPS 144 hertz display. I'm actually that's really kind of shocked for the that price that's for crazy. this cheap. It does have, of course, the uh, Bang and Olsen audio. You know, not Beats anymore, but it's better. <laughs> uh, Windows 11, which is also a nice added feature, <gasps> and this actually is a 512 gig solid state drive. Is it NVMe? I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. So yeah, what we're gonna go ahead and do is get into Windows, get everything set up, install some games, and do what we do here at the Toasty Bros. Play some games, and we're kind of average at them. All right, guys, the first game we are kicking off this benchmark with is Apex Legends. Now, one thing we did just realize is that this, in fact, has eight gigs of RAM, but the major drawback we preach about this is it's only one stick. So rather than having two four gigs or just bumping it up to 16, having two eight, we only have one singular eight gig, which is definitely gonna lose us a little bit of performance. Um, just how much it's hard to say. We normally tell people about an average of like 20 FPS, uh, less is what you probably get with one stick. 
But yeah, it's easy to upgrade that too. If you pick up this laptop, you can slap in another stick uh, since there is an open slot on the board and you will get just some instant performance by maybe spending an extra like 30 or 40 bucks. So that's something to keep in mind. But yeah, as you can tell that 5600H is barely breaking a sweat right now. Only 33% usage uh, down to 28. So you could definitely do some multitasking in the background while you're playing your games, uh, whether it's some live streaming, video editing, things like that. That 5600H is definitely capable. Oh, I shot knew. from the side. Does it make I you a better knew. gamer, though? No, it doesn't. And I'll tell you what, you definitely could hook up a secondary monitor. I mean, the 140 hertz screen is nice and all, but it is only 15.6 inches. And I, I think, did we just lose this, bro? No, I don't know where anyone's at. Now your teammate's down. Was this the strategy we needed? Yes. Oh, you just ran past the guy. <laughs> I knew that. Hey! The Apex Champion! I mean, it, it wasn't that nine bad. Nine kills? I don't remember killing kills. anyone. <laughs> Lots of kills. But hey, there's Apex. I gotta change out the camera battery now, and then let's dive into another game. All right, guys, the next game we're testing is Cyberpunk. Now, this is gonna absolutely stress this system. Um, it is a very demanding game, but we're gonna see worst case scenario what a AAA title can do on this PC. Uh, yeah, let's just run that benchmark real quick. On low settings, by the way. Actually, it should be on low, but let's see what, why is it defaulting to high? Okay, texture quality is just gonna stay on high. We're gonna, we're gonna run with that and run the benchmark. All right, guys, it looks like we ended up with an average of 45 FPS. It is not the greatest frame rate in the world, but in a game like Cyberpunk, where it's very demanding, you'll get a decent playable experience. This is a laptop screen, by the way, too, so you can drop it down to like 1600 by 900 or something like that. Not notice that much of a resolution difference and actually get a playable gaming experience. Let's go ahead and test one more esports title, which is Rainbow Six Siege. All right, guys, and the last game we're going to be testing is Rainbow Six Siege using that built-in benchmark on high settings. And uh, yeah, we'll see how close we can get to the 144 FPS mark. Let's run that benchmark. All right, guys, as you can tell, we end up getting an average of 151 FPS. Overall, this laptop is a very good for gaming. 5600H, absolutely awesome. We'll try this video up real quick. All right, guys, so now that we've ran some built-in benchmarks and actually played some games as well, we can really confirm that this HP for the price point does really good. Now, like we said, upgrade that RAM as soon as you can. But I mean, at the six to $650 range, you really can't go wrong with this, even with only eight gigs of RAM. Big thanks again to Micro Center and AMD for making this video possible. Definitely check out the HP Pavilion and all the other stuff that they have at Micro Center, especially under that Platinum Collection, uh, by checking the links in the description down below. And uh, yeah, very happy that we got a chance to look at this laptop. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other T YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And hey, in case you guys didn't know, we have TikTok, we have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr. We don't have Tumblr. Tumblr. Wow, Tumblr, that'd be a weird one. But, a uh, but yeah, we got a lot of different social media platforms. They're always in the links in the description down below. Go follow all of them. See you guys later. Goodbye.